we are at the first day of the Max 60 Caribbean tournament in Grand Cayman. And we're just all set for match two, which sees the Lions up against the Trailblazers. And it's from the Jimmy Powell Oval, Georgetown. So it is the uh, Trailblazers who won the toss and decided to have a bat first. Some ma massive names in that line of David Warner, of course, leading the side and everyone will be waiting for him to go out there and bat. And then they've got the likes of Hugh Bester, who's been in terrific form with GD20, calling the grand home. They've got Peter Hotzuglu from Australia, Jack Jarvis, he's a good all-rounder, Jack Wood. So there's some brilliant names on that list for the trial raises. Lions who are captain by Corey Anderson. No English players at the moment. Hopefully there'll be a few in. Coming in, Jonathan Carter is part of this. Sajid Ahmed Zai, Menenti Khan, Asghar Afghan and Joe Burns right at the top of the order. And off and running from David Warner, good timing straight away, he'll pick up a couple. Lovely shot, beautiful shot, powerful past extra cover. Oh, outside edge, flies past, short third. Now then, slap down the ground, mid-off and mid-on are up in the circle, and this will run away for a boundary for Warner. What a shot. Does he get enough of it? He does get enough of it. Tall man again. Helped on its way. Uh, such a good shot this is. And then he has to go wide. This is uh, smash straight back. But that is a pie of a delivery. Halfway down and smashed by David Warner over extra cover. This one oh, slapped yeah, back at him and it's the wicket. A little bit slower from Menenti. Oh, David Warner, he'll be gutted. Missed out on that opportunity, was there in the arc. Just trying to hit it too hard, turning the bat in his hands. And straightforward catch for Menenti. Hit David Warner out for 12 of nine. Clubbed over mid on to bring up the half century for the team as well. 51 for one. Over the top, and once he beats that infield, it'll race away for another boundary. Make that six fours. Sliced away. Good end to the over, an expensive over. 14 from it. We're halfway, and the Trailblazers are 59 for one. Oh, and he's picked up a wicket first up, so that's really good stuff from Harith Erasmus. Right on the money. Older trying to play the ball a bit too square. That was his downfall. Corner goes for just one. 59 for two now. That's in the slot. He's hit that high. And it has gone for six. That's a very good shot, and importantly, it's the first ball of the over. That is clubbed. That is right out of the screws, and that has travelled a long way. That is a fine strike. That's pretty close. And up goes that finger as well. As I said, from ball one, Wood was just trying to look to hit the ball too, too hard, lose his shape, head up in the air. And definitely a slow death for Mr. Wood. Off he goes. Uh, for 11, 95 for three. And he's sliced that away and he's hit it superbly for six runs. That is a terrific way to start the over again. It was very much in the slot. 
And he's cracked that high. But it's going to be out. Oh, no, it's not. Should have been swallowed. My goodness, he won't be happy with that. Made that into a full toss and he's hammered that. Has it gone far enough? Yes, just. Another full toss. That's gone very high. Going to come down with snow on it. It's taken. It's the end of a very fine innings. Oh, absolutely brilliant from Webster. This has been a fantastic innings. 82 of 35 balls. He's got that away beautifully. That's a lovely shot. Get it, get it, get it, get Had to get squeeze it, it out. It. it was nicely bowled by Erasmus. It's going to stop. Yes. Can they come back for four? No, they're going to settle in the end for three. But their handy runs right at the end. 12 off that last over. Big wicket of uh, Bo Webster was important, I think. So that's what uh, the Lions need. With Chadwick Walton, dangerous player at the top of the order. And Joe Burns from Australia. So we're all set to go then, match two. Oh, nice start. Jarvis with a, a bit of pace, a bit of in-swing. Talking to freebies, help yourself. Leg side delivery and Walton is off and running. In the air. Gone high, Warner is underneath it. Takes it. Now the Jimmy Powell Oval, David Warner. Didn't look like he picked it up at first, probably thought it was going a mile or two uh, behind him. But certainly didn't get the type of connection that he wanted on that one, Chadwick Walton. Trying to hit off a length, off the bottom of the bat. And certainly didn't get the elevation, didn't get the distance. And finds those hands, those pockets of David Warner. That puts a smile on his face. He's gone for four. It's four for one. That's a better line. Warner underneath another one. Two catches then for the captain. The... Not give the right-handers any room. Gets it right on this occasion. Can't get the elevation required, Burns. And that man, David Warner, he stands. Burns goes without troubling the scores. It's nine for two. This is just helped on its way. It's a beautiful shot. Lovely timing. Straight in the middle. High, going down towards third, and this will go all the way. Big outside edge. Started with a six, finished with a six. Launched. Seriously smashed. Watch the cars. That's good bowling. But that's just got an inside edge and runs away. That's a top edge. Cries of catch it again. Jarvis is in trouble here with the sun and does exceptionally well. That is a very good catch. The Anwar Chand again. Similar delivery, similar shot. Just the execution wasn't there. Getting a thick outside edge. And a lovely catch. Jack Jarvis, good technique. 57 for three lines. Slight hint as to the line he was going to bowl, and he sliced it straight up in the air, and this should be caught by the man with the gloves on, who called nice and loudly. And Webster is giving this uh, player of the match deal a serious run for its money. <laughs> Yeah, you come out and score the runs first and then take the wickets. There's not a lot he cannot do as a cricketer at the moment. Good catch, good technique, not easy. And Corey Anderson, he'll be. Think about the dismissal out for 28 of 20. 61 for four lines. That's beautifully flecked. Great connection as well, and that's gone for six runs. What a shot that is. 
Full toss and he just uh, reversed that for, six, uh, for four, I should say. What a shot that is. Shorts and a little bit wide and he's played that superbly. For Pick that up and it's very well taken. That is a good grab. Very good work out there at uh, Cow Corner. Yeah, Wood with that catch. Never easy. Again, that slow delivery dug into the surface. Had enough time to launch it. Just didn't get enough. Look at that technique. Very good. Another wicket for the Trial Blazers. Erasmus out for 24 with a strike rate of 200. 92 for five lines. Solid down the ground, but uh, just the one. Very good work from the Boca Raton Trailblazers. They'll be very pleased with this performance. Got a very good total in their batting, courtesy of uh, Bo Webster. But they doubled up and uh, bowled nice as well. Webster figured a couple of wickets. So tidy stuff all around. The captain will be pleased with this as they uh, win this one quite comfortably in the end. David Warner won the toss, selected to bat. 119 for four it was with Webster superb with his 82. Erasmus did a nice job with the ball, two for 17. Mananti uh, two for 28. The Lions in reply, 96 is all they could muster. Lost five wickets, Aniston was uh, tidy. Erasmus and Chund also. And Bo Webster in the runs and the wickets, two for 19 in the wickets as well. And Jarvis won and had to glue one. And also McGiffin picked up one for 22 after an expensive first over, came back nice with his second and the Boca Raton Trailblazers in the end won by 23 runs.